look, they sent me a shirt and I already got makeup on it. Hello, my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is all about Harlequin e-liquid. over at Harlequin e-liquid sent me six flavors they do offer I think nine or ten those are probably new I got these a long time ago they also sent me a swaggy shirt there's actually the the like mascot little face lady is on the shirt as well but it's down here and I have six of these flavors they're max VG they're available in zero three six and eight milligrams nicotine and they're $7.99 for a 30 milliliter bottle they do offer 60 milliliter bottles and 120 milliliter bottles I wanted to read this I felt this is really important and I love to include these in my e-liquid videos this says we are an independently lab tested juice there is no diacetyl AP acetone or artificial sweet in Harlequin. All shops that carry our product are provided with lab reports showing their results. So I think that's really awesome and just love to share when I know that e-liquids are super safe. They also sent me a sticker and a flavor menu which I love. Super simple flavor menu too like short and sweet descriptions instead of those fancy descriptions trying to make their e-liquids sound better than they really are. And this little flavor card note also says 10% off all initial orders includes free shipping. I don't know if that is still true like I said I got these a long time ago but I thought I'd throw that out there just in case it is. I will leave a link below to where you can purchase these if you're interested after this video. I have six flavors and the names are Normandy, Trickster, Trivol uh, Trivolo, Trivolino, <laughs> Romantic Hero, Argyle, and Inamorata, which I'm not sure if I'm saying a few of those right. Anyways, I'm going to be trying out four of the ones that I think sound the best to me. So Normandy is a banana pudding and vanilla. Trickster is Da Loops, which is Fruit Loops. Oh my god, I, I mean, I've had so many, but I feel like I need to try it to see how theirs is compared to the ones that I've tried. Travolino is a frosted lemon pound cake. Oh my god, you guys know I'm going to be trying that for sure. Romantic Hero is a strawberry milk. God, another one. They have like three of my favorite types of flavor profiles. Argyle is Apple Jacks and Inna Morata is Coconut Macaroon. So I think I know which four I'm going to try. Yes, so the four I'm going to try, of course, the Frosted Lemon Pound Cake, the Coconut Macaroon, the Strawberry Milk, and the Loops. I have to try, I have to, because they're like my favorite flavor profiles and I want to know if these ones are good compared to the ones that I absolutely love. You guys all know, or maybe you don't, but you should. Well, I guess you don't have to, but you might. But which one to try first? Okay, we'll go with the Coconut Macaroon since the other three flavors are like my favorite flavor profiles like out there ever. Strawberries and milk, Fruit Loops, and Lemon Pound Cake, like all we're missing is like horchata and something caramel butterscotch hazelnut. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so I'm trying these flavors out on my Troll RDA. I have some fresh Kendo vape cotton up in here to try it out. And for anyone who doesn't know how to build or doesn't want to build, you can always use these 510 dripping, direct dripping little atomizers. You put a couple drops of the e-liquid in there and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. They're super simple, super easy, disposable. I'll leave a link to both of these down below in the description box. Let me smell it. Mmm, oh my god. Oh, I smell the macaroon, the coconut, and the chocolate. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go with the coconut macaroon flavor. Mmm. Wow, it's really chocolatey. I wonder if this is a chocolate macaroon. Because some of them are chocolate, some of them aren't. Definitely getting the coconut, getting that crumbly, like, shortbread vibe. Because when I ever have a coconut macaroon, it's like those little balls, you know? Some of them, sometimes they're covered in chocolate. And this tastes like that little bready, coconutty, without the nasty coconut texture. Because I actually don't like coconut texture. I like coconut flavor. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is freaking good. They did an excellent job on their chocolate. I'm never really a really big into chocolate vapes and this is a really freaking good chocolate flavor on top of the coconut, on top of the mixed in with the bread, the like the, you know, it's kind of like a crumbly dry bread or dough. I didn't think I was going to like this flavor as much as I really actually do. Mm, that is an excellent 
chocolate coconut vape. Next, I'm going to try the loops. Oh my god, Fruit Loop flavor. I am so stoked. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Wow, that smells amazing. Usually, even like if it's a good cereal vape, I tend to smell the citrus and the lemon in the bottle, even if the vape flavor isn't super overpowering citrus. But this, oh my god, it smells so freaking good. I can smell like the sugar glaze on this shit. It's a really good cereal vape. It's not as powerful as I thought it was gonna be like it's not as flavorful it's still really good and I can it tastes it tastes like Fruit Loops and kind of like that glaze sugary and maybe almost a little undertone of cream but I've had ones that are more powerful for the you know more flavorful more intense flavor so this is like a really subtle well not subtle because you can tell that it's Fruit Loops but it's just not as intense as some that I've had but I'm really enjoying the vape from these. They're really smooth and I can take a big cloud and not feel choky at all, which is a plus. Still good. It tastes like Fruit Loops for sure. Like I said, it's just a little, not, I don't want to say underwhelming because I mean it tastes like what it's supposed to be. It's just I've had more powerful ones. And Fruit Loops flavor is probably... It's definitely one of the more flavors that I'm more picky on and more judgy about because I've had so many and I have my favorites. But definitely it would get a thumbs up. If I had to pick thumbs up or thumbs down, it would get a thumbs up. Because it doesn't have that nasty citrus or that waxy aftertaste that some of them have and that I'm just like, I'm like, nope, <laughs> not vaping that. But yeah, this one's, this is all right. Can you guess which one I'm saving for last? <laughs> So I'm trying the strawberry milk now, super excited. Now, like I say, with all strawberry milk flavors, they tend to smell gross. We'll see, see how this one smells. It doesn't smell super gross. It does smell a lot more strawberry, like gummy strawberry, but um, it doesn't have that super overpowering sour milk smell that I, I just, that's what I smell when I smell strawberry milk vapes. I smell sour milk, even if it vapes and tastes great. All right, here we go with this one. Ooh, okay, so this is another flavor that I'm pretty picky about and after the Fruit Loops one I was one wasn't really expecting much because I'm pretty picky and that one was a little underwhelming This one does not disappoint. This almost tastes like the Nesquik milk stuff But if you accidentally didn't like mix it well enough so you get that powdery sugar when you drink it You know like if there's still like a little clump of the Nesquik stuff. This is what I'm getting so it's really a lot more sugary really creamy you know this one might be up there in the strawberry milk category for me I'm almost getting like a warm strawberry milk vibe from it the strawberry is spot on though it kind of smelled like a gummy strawberry but like I said I'm definitely getting more of like a powdered sugary strawberry vibe from it mixed with the creamy milk it's Definitely, definitely will be vaping this one all the way gone. And last, we are trying their Frosted Lemon Pound Cake. I am so excited, and even though I haven't had a ton of lemon pound cake flavors, you guys know I have my favorite from Bonsai Vapor, so this either needs, this is either gonna be good or it's not gonna be good, and I am so excited, because the two have been good. The Fruit Loops one, like I said, it was good, it was just not very powerful. Mmm, what? I'm smelling almost like a honey smell. Oh my gosh. I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. I need it to be good because I'm almost out of bonsai vapors. Found it. Need something to hold me over until I can get some more. Hmm. Not really impressed. I hate like when I don't when I don't like a flavor personally, I do not bash on an e-liquid because Taste is so subjective and you could like it. It's just my personal opinion and because Bonsai Vapors Pound It is so freaking amazing, I don't think this one can really compare to that one. I'm getting lemon pound cake but I'm not really feeling any of the frosting and it's kind of like a stale lemon pound cake to me. I mean, Bonsai Vapors is just so fresh, it feels like moist and this one's just 
Like I said, it's either going to be loving it or not loving it. So there's no really in between when it comes to this flavor because it is one of my favorite flavor profiles of all time. Yeah, I mean, you may like it. I don't personally love it. I really hate saying that, but this, like I said, this was, there is no in between. There is no in between for this flavor. I'm getting very minute frosting, getting a lot of lemon pound cake, more like lemon cake that's kind of old. But the strawberry milk flavor has me hanging on. And like I said, there's a few other flavors on their website. If you've tried Harlequin e-liquid, let me know what you think down below because taste is so subjective because I may not like this lemon pound cake, but there could be some people out there that are like, fuck you, Tia, this lemon pound cake is delicious. Probably the people who make this e-liquid. Sorry guys, it's just personal opinion. So I will leave a link below to these e-liquids if you're interested in trying them out. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get this e-liquid or where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos of whatever I want. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching. Mm. Guys, I was really excited for their lemon pound cake flavor. Mm -hmm.